Hi everyone, it's Vache here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to get your vocal to stand out in the mix, especially when you have a song arrangement which is quite busy, a lot of times with uh, guitars, which occupy the same frequency as your vocal. This is certainly not a new technique or anything secret, but this demonstration is simply to show you how you can achieve this in Presonus Studio One Prime DAW. So let's have a quick listen to the song and I'll go through the steps of achieving that mix. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone It's not warm when she's away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone She's always gone to a long Any time she goes away Okay, so that's the song. I actually recorded this uh, arrangement just for the purpose of demonstration of different parts of Persona's Studio One Prime. So I thought it's a good idea to start with, you know, with getting the vocal to stand out in the mix. Because you got to remember that we have limited tools in this free DAW. So we got to work things around, be creative to achieve a good result. So the vocal is simply a one take that I have done, so there are some imperfections, so you need to ignore those. <laughs> but I will show you how I actually made it so that um, the whole idea of making the vocal stand out. Because in the arrangement I have three guitars. One, two and three. Which are always on most of the time uh, in the arrangement as rhythm guitars. All of the sounds of this arrangement are from my Korg PA3X. There are no real guitars, but the idea is still the same. Uh, if you had real guitars being played, uh, even better, because um, you need to control those guitars even more. So, let's see how I have done this. First thing I had to do is, because the guitars and the vocal occupy the same frequency range and they need to be loud enough, the guitars will overpower the vocals. So we need to bring those guitars down whenever the vocal is coming on. Now surely we can use automation, but that's a long and hard work to do. There is a simple way of doing it. So what I have done is I combined those three guitars into auxiliary bus. Now we have to remember there are no auxiliary buses in Prime. That's not included, that's one of the limitations, but we can use an FX channel as a bus. So what I have on my bus, simply a channel strip. And channel strip with compression. A high compression, I use about 80% fast. The other trick with this compression is the side chain. Now, the way sidechain works is that an external audio will determine how much compression, if any, occurs or is applied to this channel strip compressor. In our vocal track, I basically added a send, a sidechain send, that goes to the guitar bus channel strip side chain for the compressor. Now when we are actually enabling the side chain, you have to remember that it needs to be pre-fader and not post-fader. It needs to be yellow and we need to adjust that at the same time so that when we are adjusting the track's fader, it has no effect to the side chain compression being applied to our guitars. Now another part of the trick of this technique, and uh, this is the secret bit, is the editing of the vocal so that it is a uniform audio level that's coming through. And this is what I call manual compression or manual dynamic leveling. 
Basically what I mean, if we double click into edit mode and just... Most of my waveforms, the average peak are about minus 6 dB. We can tell it from here. And then if I go along, if there are any which are louder, I simply cut that bit and then bring it down to make it all uniform. Cut that bit and bring it down. And if there are any low volume bits, again cut and bring it up. And so on. So just to demonstrate, this bit here, I can simply cut that word out and then bring it down so that it's around minus six on average. There we go. So that's an example. Now, this is important because we want to have a uniform audio being fed into our side chain, into the compression for the guitars, because you got to remember it is pre-fader. So any compression we add on into our vocal track as a channel strip compression has no effect to the side chain. We need it to be uniform so that the sound from the compression doesn't have a varying effect but it's a uniform compression being applied. So let's have a quick demonstration of how it sounds with and without the compression. So let's solo out the three guitars and we should be able to hear how the sidechain affects the compressor as I turn it on and off. Even though we're not going to hear the vocal, but we'll be able to hear how the compressor comes on and off every time we know the vocal is coming and how it affects the guitars. As you can hear there, how the guitar are being sort of faded down and compressed down, you know, while the vocal is on. So if we disable that um, uh, the side chain on, the guitars don't have any fade. And back on. So as you can hear how the guitars are being faded as the vocal is coming on and off. And to put that into the whole mix, it makes it really, the ear is not going to detect the compressor coming on on the guitars, but gives the vocal a chance to stand out. So let's have a listen for the whole thing again. Wonder this time where she's gone. Okay, well, I hope you know how to do it as well. So it's uh, just to quickly recap, we combine all of the instruments that we want to be compressed down whenever the vocal is coming on to give space to the vocal into an auxiliary bus. We put a channel strip to give compression and we enable the side chain. That's important. We got to make sure that we enable the side chain and then for the vocal channel, we add a send as a sidechain pre-fader into the channel strip. And then we need to adjust, obviously, the sidechain level so that we do get some compression. Usually, you should be able to see to get minus uh, 6 dB of um, compression. I'll just sort of uh, demonstrate very that very quickly. Wonder this time where she's gone. So as you can see, we are getting minus 6 dB of compression um, from the channel strip. So that's around uh, what you need, you know, halving the, the volume of the guitars as the vocal is coming on. 
and then of, your, of course the trick is to edit and make sure that all of your vocal words have very uniform you know to a certain degree a uniform level so that it affects the side chain compression correctly well i hope this was helpful for you uh, if it was give me the thumbs up that way i know you really enjoyed learning this new trick how to get your vocal to stand in the mix obviously this is for personas studio one prime the free daw and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel because i'll be doing a lot more instructions tips and ideas using this uh, song arrangement as the project for demonstration will whole heap of other ideas in there that way you be kept up to date and until next time i hope you have a great time making music cheerio